Welcome back. One of Ashford University's missions is to make higher education accessible to more people. And one of the ways they're working toward that goal is by providing teacher appreciation scholarships to some of San Diego's most promising educators. There is a game right here. It's called Save Fret. And it goes through all of the different body systems. Okay, and it's going to be challenging. Kristen Saucerman Lively, a sixth grade science teacher at Coronado Middle School, believes that learning can be exciting. And she brings that excitement and love of learning to her classroom every day. I think I try and really make science fun for the kids. And I'm trying to find ways to get them uh, enthusiastic about what they're learning. I'm Sixth grade is pretty much their first real solid science class, so I figure if I can hook them their first year in middle school, maybe they'll develop that passion and take it with them into the rest of their lives. Mrs. Lively is the teacher you want to have because she is fun, she is strict at some time, she can, if you are struggling in some parts, she will come and help you, and if you are sad, she will lift you up and make you feel better. Lively is trying different methods to keep her students engaged, and the use of technology in her classroom has proven successful. For Ms. Lively, my, um, my laptop's almost, uh, the battery's almost dead, so, so like, what should I do? So you want to grab number 17. I use a Chromebook, and um, it's really easy to um, like learn in the class because we have um, the ability to use all these laptops and devices. We can watch videos. Um, there's PowerPoints that they put up so we can learn more about the subject that we're learning in. I think it's better using devices because it's like a book and a writing utensil in one. So instead of having a piece of paper and a pencil and a book, you can just have a netbook. It's like a buddy. You can, it's, it's like your guide. It guides you through stuff. And like if you have a homework assignment and you're confused, the computer will help you. Lively believes that using technology in the classroom can be beneficial to many types of learners. It really has given me an opportunity to differentiate learning. So rather than, you know, here's the book and you need to learn this way and listen to me and take notes, um, the students who are more visual can watch videos. The students who, you know, enjoy video games can go on and, you know, do the simulations and the animations and while they're still learning. Um, the students who like to read, I can post science articles related to whatever we're learning and they can extend their learning. So it's really given me that opportunity to kind of hit every kid no matter what learning style they have. She's dynamic, she's talented, she has a, a tremendous skill sets and knowledge for science. So here's my bucket of cow eyeballs. She's always looking for what will make her better. She knows she'll be able to, to share that with the kids and, and that's just a perfect dynamic. Motivation towards self-improvement is a big part of Lively's character. She was a recipient of Ashford University's Teacher Appreciation Scholarship a scholarship designed with a purpose. The purpose is really to be a good community servant and provide opportunities uh, for those who have an interest in furthering their education at Ashford University and who would benefit from some financial support. So it's kind of part of our commitment to bettering the community and it just so happens that education is a great way to do that. It's significant because it says a lot about what an organization, in this case a university or school, is willing to do to to say, look, we're here, we're dedicated, and we want to celebrate our teachers, and we want to recognize education, and what a better place to do it than um, where people can see that and go, you know what, education is valuable. I mean, to provide access, you know, in, in this day and age, it, it means so much because, you know, for, for a long time, higher education was really limited to a very select few, and we know you know, in today's global economy and changing landscape that the quality and opportunity to get a post-secondary education has a huge influence on, on your ability to, to have a successful career. Really, the scholarship isn't just for me. It really is for the students because whatever I am able to gather from the program and what I can learn getting my master's through Ashford University is going to be given to the students and they're going to benefit from me going through this master's program because I'm going to try and develop new curriculum and new lessons that are engaging and meaningful 
and relevant because I don't want technology just to be the, the ultimate goal. It should be something that, you know, we're using this for a reason to, you know, to help them critically think and further their learning farther than if we didn't have it. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of Salute to Education. You can see all these stories again on our website, 4SD.com, on the Salute to Education page. And if you have ideas for stories you'd like to see on the show, you can send us a message through that webpage as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.